Hi guys, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to officially winter. It is half past two in the afternoon. I'm having to use a light because it is so dark in here and I have just rescued her from that. And I have a pool clinic to get ready for, yay! Uh, no, in all seriousness, Oh my God, I'm soaking wet. Yeah, I've got what is our first ever pole clinic. Now we've done like grid work lessons when she was younger, but since I, oh my God, she's so grumpy. Since I retired her from jumping, um, I've just really done like flat stuff. And I think she's a bit bored. So I wanted to find something that was fun, but wasn't going to affect her. But I could not find pole clinics anywhere. Um, then Hannah from Wizzy Welsh Eventing, who is coming with us today, took me to one of her cross country clinics where I went helped and filmed and I met a guy called John Rogers who was the instructor and found out that he does pole clinics and he does them 10 minutes down the road. Mwah. So that's where we're going today. However, we're not leaving till five but the rain is so bad and I've got so many things I need to do down the yard that I thought I'll come down, get her in, give her a chance to dry off. I can see how much brushing I need to do I can pack the trailer, turn it round, get some chores done and see how we go. I have just been to the shop and bought loads of food. So I think I'm going to unpack that first because it's dry in the trailer. Uh, I don't even know how much you can hear me because the rain on the roof. But I have a lot in here to put away. What's going on? And I've got two bags of food to unpack and put down there to keep Hannah happy. And I've just got, just got stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna quickly put this away. Need some light. Do they still work? Oh, kind of, they need more battery. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this first. More spare coats, which I am definitely taking dry jumper because I know I'm going to get absolutely soaked and I want to ride in a dry jumper. Cans of pop. Need plenty of fluids. Get off the bag. Snacks. I bought crisps. Popcorn. I bloom and love popcorn. Bought these because they were a pound. They're cheese and broccoli like pasta pots. I don't know if I'll get any dinner. Um, I might eat one of these before we leave. But cheese and broccoli, pasta pot. Digestive biscuit squares. They're amazing. Chocolate, because that's ha what Hannah requested. Jaffa cakes, because we all know I need those when I fall off. And some milk, in case you want tea and coffee. And then in case I'm absolutely exhausted, <laughs> monster for the drive home okay everything is ready to go we got hay um it's not really bedding but <laughs> it will do uh i have my torch because that's not working and of course it's going to be dark when i travel so she's going to need a torch i've got her water I've got a waterproof got some haylage and then I've got my boots. I've got my hat, although I might wear my nicer hat. Oh, that can't sit there. I'll just pop that there because I did just have a snag. I might take a chocolate bar for the road. Um, tripods, blankets, dry jumper, and massage pad. So yeah, and my tack I've put in the tack locker, but that's all locked up. So yeah, we're good to go. My internal light up there is broken, so you can't travel in the dark. So I'm using this motion sensor one to make it nice for you. Shall we go? We've arrived and I've been clever and parked under a light because, oh, I need the key to the front. Um, I can't use my interior lights, as I just said. So that's a bit of a pain in the bum, but um, I'm gonna change my jumper because my current jumper is wet. I actually think Jordan's coming down, just waiting for her really, uh, as well as Hannah. So that's fun. Let me put these ones on, see if that 
Oh, cute. Um, they give me a little bit of light. So yeah, I'm gonna change my jumper, put her massage pad on and a bigger rug because it's cold and then get me ready really. But she needs to chill. She hates just turning up and like going. So um, that's why I'm here like 40 minutes early, 45 minutes early actually. But yeah, no Jordan yet. She can have her massage pad on and a bit of a brush. Hello baby girl. That light worked, didn't it? Hey. Eh? Now, I did travel her in this. I know it's not breathable, but she was a little bit chilly in the field, um, which is annoying. I'm gonna put a bigger rug on you, aren't we? Your face is still wet from the rain, ugh. But yeah, I'm gonna take that one off. I'm gonna put her massage pad on and then put this bigger one on because that's just way more. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid Look who's here I didn't know you had that little car Why did I think you had a freelander? What? Why did I think you had a freelander? Oh, well, it's my dad I used to tow it Oh, uh, hello! <laughs> oh, I can't stay, isn't he? Oh, uh, right, I've got blankets Right, so I've not seen her in ages. She's turned up, she's chaffed me socks. She's about to chaff me wellies because she's soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, my, my, my uh, arrow feet again. Don't, don't get a zoom in on my feet. I mean, I'm just a weirdo that has I've spare socks in my trailer. Things. No, that's so, that's really prepared. I usually do, but <laughs> not today, apparently. <laughs> oh no, she's lost something. I need one of those on mine. Back off. Yeah. They are good though, they're so bright. Yeah. Three! Too hot anyway. Oh, you're gonna put a brown brown on. <laughs> That's one of them old ones that I got for 20 quid off Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, still soaking wet for the field. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful, aren't you, Dubby? Yeah, this is the first time you've seen her hogged. Yeah, I like oh. it. I like it. I really like it. Jordan helped me. Well, Jordan laughed at me while I did it. She's like, I am quite happy just here, munching away. Don't care what you lot are all talking about. Oh, you're so beautiful. She's like velvet. Oh, she, hello. She said, get that out of my face. You should be used to that by now, dubs. Sorry, I think it just went to Jordan. Sorry, love. He dragged me out, and it was bedtime, and I had a massage pad on, and now you've dragged me out. Go on, girl, get your leg up. Go on, get your leg over. <laughs> She's on. Oh dear. Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looks so pretty. I need to get a, I think she's actually like lost weight and I need to get a smaller girl. I'll see what it's going on. Go on, well, you ready. Jordan's having some snacky snacks. <laughs> yeah, that's literally like the first thing you said. It's just like, you got snacks. Okay, guys, the nitty gritty bit. The reason you are all here. Now, I was going to try and leave in the like tuition speaking, you know, from John. But because there was four of us in the lesson, it wouldn't always kind of like make sense because he'd be trailing about talking at someone else and then he'd be like oh that's the same for you or you know yada yada and it wasn't great and you couldn't always hear him because he was kind of in the middle and then he was just working on people when they got to them so we just sort of like walked around and then he pulled us in and explained to us what the exercises were going to be now for next time one thing I really need to do is I need to actually get there a bit earlier and go for like a warm-up somewhere else because we didn't get as long as I would like to have given her um, before we sort of started because although we're trotting around here, he's asking us to do things um, 
and sort of make sure that they're going how we want them. But Dublin needs longer than this kind of session. It also didn't help that as I was sort of trotting around for the first 10 minutes, I was like, I wasn't happy with my saddle. Um, I couldn't really work out if it was just too far forward or or what really. So I kind of like trotted past him, got his opinion and yeah, I ended up jumping off and fixing it, which meant that, yeah, that was like a good few minutes of the warm up that I missed as well. So problem one, not a long warm up. So our first pole exercise was going to be improving their walk. Um, a few people, myself included, mentioned that our walks are not our strongest points. Uh, so we had this exercise where we had these walk poles where John is stood. Now, they were a metre apart, so they were too long for walk poles but too short for trot poles. They were kind of in the middle. And we had to come in, 10 metre circle, ask for walk, walk over the poles and then do a few more strides of walk and trot away again. The idea is that the poles were elongating their stride and getting them to um, use their shoulders to stretch out a lot more. So we had to sort of work on stretching out the neck um, and things like that and coming in, making sure they were straight on the turn and asking for walk. Again, that wasn't, it was never really very good actually. I was struggling a little bit. I don't know why, but when people watch me, which is weird because I show and you've always got a judge watching you, um, but when I know someone's watching me, I freeze. I totally freeze up on my body and I don't use my body the way I should. So I wasn't helping her at all, but this one I think we finally got it. We didn't hit the poles this time. So yay, he's pleased with that. Trot away. Back onto the track. And we were doing that as a four, so we were having to like watch out for each other as well. That's just John saying, let her stretch, let her stretch. But we had to like stretch and keep on a contact. And you know what? It's been a long time since anyone has given me like so many things to think about. I think I've just lived in my own little bubble of schooling on my own. And suddenly someone is telling you to do six things all at once. And I was like, what? I have not had a lesson in probably over a year. And all the lessons that I have had have been showing clinics, which are amazing, but they are very much focused on good transitions and looking pretty going around the outside of a show ring because that's predominantly what they want from show horses. So it's always been a bit easy. This lesson was a huge eye-opener in terms of I've just been too relaxed. I've just been too lackadaisical. We go out schooling, we run through the motions and we finish. So I'm excited that I'm booked on for a few of these. Once that exercise was done, we stopped again and it gave the dance the horses to have a little break. Dublin enjoyed a little scratch and we went on to talk about the next exercise. Again, something I'm going to have to practice is stopping and starting again because normally I'll give Dublin walk breaks and then carry on. But the whole stopping starting she didn't like. So this was the next exercise. This was the trot pole exercise. And we had three trot poles on the centre line, two going up the school. And we had to come through on a serpentine. And again, this was being straight on the bend and making sure you had a few strides of straight trot before you got to your poles, a few strides afterwards, and then making sure they were staying straight as they were bending away again to the track. And yeah, she actually did these ones really, really well. We do a lot of trot poles and I do a lot of trot poles on the lunge. Um, but I was, I was fluffing up my turns because I was, again, thinking of too many things all at once. I wasn't getting the best turns. So this is something I need to practice um, at home. This is something I can do in the school. We have got enough poles for that. So that was good. I really enjoyed this one, actually. And as the time went on, she was doing really well. She was loosening up by this point as well. So I was really, really pleased. And we just did this. We did this quite a few times because there's the four of us. But they were improving as they were going on. But I, he was saying to me that I need to be turning my hips in the direction of where I'm going, looking sooner, turning my hips, and then having her flow around the corner rather than it being like an abrupt movement because I was just kind of getting to the end and turning rather than having it as a flowing motion um, and using my hips to turn rather than sort of like turning her neck. So we had another little walk break. I tried to keep her walking a lot longer this time. And then John was just explaining to us the next exercise. And this was poles on a bend on a curve 
in the corners of the school and we had to go around use our poles and then circle in the next corner that had no poles and then got the long side but when we were going on the straight he wanted us to make a change of transition or pace in the trot now I have got it left in somewhere in a minute I will explain it but basically this was me with all my mic trying to ask for some more and I wasn't getting it <laughs> So basically, I've taught Dublin all her life to just stay in the same rhythm no matter what because that's kind of what you want in the ring. If people are overtaking you and setting them all off and winding them up, you basically don't want your horse to falter. So I've always taught her to just stay in the same like pace and speed. So asking her to add a little bit more into her trot, go a bit faster, extend is really difficult. I don't know how much I'll be able to improve it at 22, but we'll see. <laughs> Warming up a little bit more now. Good. Stay in the middle. Now you can stay in the middle by taking eyes up and right. At the end of down to the right, we'll push your seat out to the left. Can I do a second circle? So yes, on the poles on the bend, I wasn't pointing my hips in the direction I wanted to go and I was kind of not riding with my outside leg so she was just sort of drifting out and of course the poles get wider as they go out um so I yeah I was really struggling with that actually <laughs> again I just I looked down I just looked down too much and like I said before this lesson has just been a huge eye opener um I did actually sneak one more little circle in and I got them just right finally and I made sure I looked up at Hannah who had the camera <laughs> Right, it was then straight into canter, and unfortunately it was straight onto Dublin's stiff rain. Um, and again, this is where not having a warm-up, or as good of a warm-up as I'd have liked, really shows. Look how crooked she is here. This is just age. She's just had her back done. It's just how she is. She's just a little bit arthritic. She's not, like, in pain. But the first time I take her for a canter, she tries to sort of not use herself. As time went on, she got better, obviously, like all horses do. But we were cantering down these poles and then we'd come back, canter over the pole and do a circle. And yeah, it was good. This rain was hard. I need to be fitter. When I'm fitter, I'm not as handy. For some reason, I get all hands and pulley and it's just not right. It's not pleasant to watch. But I, you know what? I'm going to leave it in because it's life. Um, but she's just a little bit stiff. If I'd done my canter on the right first, we wouldn't have been having this issue. But then we did go on to the right lead and basically Dublin was like, yeah, this is fun. I want to canter over poles and was being a little bit steam trainee. So I'm having to sit back an awful lot. And then I got round here and it was somewhere about here. She just grabbed. I took a bolt and she just grabbed and just tried to tank down the long side. And I went, no, I don't care how messy that is. I'm pulling you up. I'm not having that. Um, but I got straight back into canter and basically I just had a bit of a manners issue uh, I think where we don't really do poles or canter poles she was very excited bearing in mind she retired from jumping much to her annoyance but it's the way it was and then that one I kind of went fine if you want to drag me down then that's what's going to happen came again and was like right listen to me this time and we finally got a nice one to finish on so yeah, this is an exercise I need to practice. Again, it's all just that I don't do enough. It's my own fault. I don't go out for enough lessons. Uh, I got too comfortable at home doing my own thing and too comfortable going around the outside of a show ring just focusing on looking pretty. But yes, I gave her a really nice long stretchy trot off. I didn't want her being a bit, you know, stiff after all this. She had worked quite hard. Nice walk off. And then we just spoke at the end about things you wanted to improve for next time because I am booked on to another one on the 6th of December. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. The problem is though, like, I, she, I just said to her, I needed to warm her up. Yeah, you, yeah. Like, she just wasn't ready. Like, when we kicked off, she was still a bit... Yeah. yeah, but then towards the end, she really started warming up. Like yeah. her canter, then, she was flying. The first canter was far too stiff because I normally canter the other rein. And then when I went on the rein, she went, Yeah, I know if I can do it. Yeah, no, no, my god. Like she was, a, she was like, she was like, she put that bit on that part there and just canter off. 
was like, I don't care how messy this looks, you are absolutely standing still. And I just like halted her in the middle and was like, no way. <laughs> absolutely not. I was just careering towards her. Oh yeah, like, how's, how's the sat nav as well? Mine was all right, but I couldn't get a game. Do you see what I mean? How, how difficult it is? How much you have like, to yeah, think? And I'm like, there's no, I literally can't fit. I don't fit in that gap. I have to like, <laughs> somewhere else and like, carry on. Oh my God, but no, like... Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did, but it just shows. I do show clinics where yeah. it's just sit around the outside, outside. look pretty. Yeah. As long as you get your transitions and you go straight across the diagonal, you're brilliant, like it's grand. Yeah. grand. Yeah. Whereas in there, and he's like, no, no, you actually have to ride. You're like... <laughs> Oh, so yeah, all done and dusted. Loads of homework. Half proud of myself, half annoyed at myself, but that's what these lessons are going to be for. And I'm definitely booked on to more, so let's see if there's an improvement. So yes, I am absolutely over the moon with her still. There's loads to work on, as I would have said. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait for the next lesson. I'm going to get her home. I'm not going to vlog anymore because it's going to be pitch black. So I'm going to get at home, get her put to bed, and we will see you next time. Bye.